Hello Toppers, today we are going to discuss the second part of chromosome numbers and their diseases in continuation with the previous video. So let's get started. So first is chromosome 11. Here it contains more than 40% of olfactory receptor genes and it is associated with Wilms tumor. Then comes chromosome 12. Here it is associated with Nonan syndrome. So you can remember it as 12 known. Now chromosome 13. And here it is associated with retinoblastoma. Then Wilson's disease which is associated with copper metabolism. Then comes trisomy 13 which is also called as Patau syndrome. You have to remember both the name. Then the mnemonic is Pat Wilson as he saw the blast. After seeing the blast, he was very much nervous. So he had been patted. So Pat for Patau syndrome, Wilson is in Wilson's disease. Then blast is indicating the retinoblastoma. Then chromosome 14. It is associated with alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency. Where uh, we can see that in pan asinar emphysema. So there is no particular mnemonic for it. So in chromosome 15 it is associated with Angelman syndrome and prader willi syndrome. The mnemonic is regarding extremely two opposite characters. That is angel and another one is willi. Then chromosome 16. It is associated with autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease. So here you have to remember one thing, 6 chromosome is associated with autosomal recessive PCKD and 16 is associated with autosomal dominant PCKD. Then comes chromosome 17. It is associated with Lee-Fromani syndrome. Then neurofibromatosis 1 and then BRCA1 which is associated with genetic predisposition towards breast carcinoma and the mnemonic 17 is similar to the inverted Li. Then NF1 in case of 17 and neurofibromatosis 2 we can see in chromosome 22. Don't confuse NF1 and NF2. Then comes chromosome 18. Here it is associated with trisomy 18 or Edwards syndrome. Already we had seen one trisomy that is trisomy 13 which is none other than Patau syndrome. So to all the well-known Edwards, this is the mnemonic, 18 years old Edward. Whoever Edward you know, they are only 18 years old. Don't go beyond that. Then comes chromosome 19 which is associated with Peutz-Jeghers syndrome which is none other than polyps in the small intestine. Chromosome 21, it is a one of the smallest human chromosome then it is associated with AML with translocation number 1821. So try to remember this number also. This can also be asked in MCQs. Then trisomy 21 that is none other than Down syndrome which is mainly because of the non-disjunction between the chromosome. Here already we had seen other two trisomies. A trisomy 13 is Patau syndrome and 18 is Edward syndrome. So the mnemonic is Down syndrome children are small with AML. Because we know Down syndrome children are uh, um, having stunted growth. So it is small. Then now chromosome 22. Here it is one of the first human chromosome to be fully sequenced. Then it is associated with chronic myeloid leukemia as Philadelphia chromosome with translocation number 922. And it is associated with CATCH22 syndrome. Then it is also associated with neurofibromatosis 2. So let's see the mnemonic. First catch Philadelphia using the navy force. So first is for first human chromosome to be fully sequenced. Then catch for cat syndrome. Then Philadelphia chromosome. Navy force for neurofibromatosis 2. So let's see the quick recap. So chromosome 12, 12 known. Then 13, Pat Wilson as he saw the blast. Pat, Patau syndrome, Wilson, Wilson's disease, blast is retinoblastoma, 14, 14, alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency, 15, Angelman and Prader-Willi syndrome, 16, 
autosomal dominant PCKD, 17 Lee Framani syndrome, NF1 and BRCA1, then 18, 18 years old Edward, Peutz Jagger syndrome in chromosome 19, then chromosome 21 for Down syndrome children are small with AML, and then 22 first catch Philadelphia using Navy Force, first first G chromosome to be sequenced. Catch 22 syndrome, then Philadelphia chromosome in CML, then NF for NF2, that is neurofibromatosis type 2. Thank you so much. Happy learning with us.